My name is Katie Chapman and this is my 2.1 video blog for SNHU's IDS 403 Preparing for the Future. For this assignment I have chosen to focus on the global technology, social media, and its issues that have an impact on identity. I will also be using the topic of social media as a subject for my final project as authorized in the rubric. I will analyze how it is a product of social construction which has a direct influence on social relations. All societies are undoubtedly shaped by technology, and one of the most common technologies is social media. Social media platforms are an example of social construction, which presumes that social and cultural forces determine cultural change. The social constructivist argument was developed to challenge the idea of technological determinism, or the belief that technological development stems from natural and logical order of progress. Because the social constructivist argument states that technological advances are not out of human control and instead society shapes and directs technology in every phase of its development from conception to production to use and non-use. Social media platforms are computer mediated technologies that allow broad communication and collaboration such as the creating and sharing of information, ideas, career interests, and other forms of expression by way of virtual communities and networks. Social constructivists demonstrate how individuals and groups contribute to the direction of technological development, but they take it a step further by stating that once the technology is developed, society has the ability to decide if, where, when, and how it will be used. In 1997, the first recognizable online social media site, Six Degrees, was created and allowed users to create a profile and make friends with other users. Then by 1999, the first blogging sites began gaining favor. Social media began to explode with, uh, in popularity with sites like MySpace and LinkedIn in the early 2000s, and then followed by sites like Photobucket and Flickr, which facilitated online photo sharing. YouTube came out in 2005, making it possible for people to communicate and share with each other across great distances. Then by 2006, Facebook and Twitter both became available to users throughout the world and they remain some of the most popular social networks on the internet. Other sites like Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, Tumblr, Spotify, and Foursquare then began popping up to fill specific social networking niches. Each of these social media platforms have unique characteristics and capabilities that draw specific people to use their applications. Additionally, each of these social technologies were revised and changed based off of the reviews of society, uh, the popularity of competing sites, and the potential for further growth. As I mentioned, each of these apps gives something unique to its users. Instagram's function as a picture sharing platform allows users to make friends, follow other users with similar interests, give comments and share, and allows users to create an image of themselves, also called a digital identity, that may not always be realistic to their real world selves. Some of these te technological platforms are created for and utilized by younger generations, making them trendy and sometimes even important for social status. What is so interesting is that social media platforms have completely changed the way people interact with one another in social relationships, as well as changed the way people connect with each other, such as sending social media messages instead of calling or texting. More than that, social media technologies have altered the linguistic nature of communication. Many new words have been created due to social media and people communicate with abrupt statements, abbreviations, and even simply use emojis. Social media has made people tie their own self-worth or the worth and the worth of others with the attention they receive in the virtual world, such as the number of likes, comments, and reposts. Also, some people have even taken to posting at a certain time of the day to ensure maximum views, uh, which further alters the way they behave due to technology. Although those examples are not necessarily bad, they still force people to alter their nature in order to gain favor from strangers. One specific conflict between humans and social media platforms is that the platforms have altered the way people communicate in the real world because they likely become more introverted after excessive amounts of time spent online and have a hard time having a conversation with someone across the table from them. 
Another very noticeable conflict is that people's attention spans have been shortened significantly and it has become harder and harder for people to sit and be present without social media. I'm sure we've all seen that, um, either someone at dinner or they're watching a movie and they can't help but continue pulling out their phone multiple times and scrolling through social media. Um, it's, it's like a reflex, um, even getting up in the morning, having it be the first thing that you check, uh, your, maybe your Facebook feed or something. Social technology has been wonderful for maintaining relationships, allowing you to be more aware of the events in the lives of your family and friends, It'll allow you to make new friends who uh, share the, the same interests and, and inspire you. I believe the consequences I described were unintended, but have created far reaching repercussions nonetheless. In my next video blog, in module four, I will explore my own digital identity by analyzing my various online and technology related behaviors and preferences. Thank you so much for bearing with me um, on my very first filmed assignment as well as my uh, first video blog. So thank you guys.